to put our ear to the wall, our secretive hedge funds actually opening up. Hedge fund analysts are now sharing ideas in an online community called Sum Zero. Tonight, we get in on the action with a stock pick from one of Sum Zero's members. David Sackler is $200 million under management at Moab Capital Partners. Uh, David, you brought along a pitch for us. Uh, what's the stock? I did, Melissa. Uh, we are long Regis Corporation. Regis is the largest salon and hair cutter in the United States. It's a classic Warren Buffett stock. It generates tons of cash. It's dirt cheap, and it's got a business that's really as old as time itself. Uh, Regis recently announced strategic alternatives and have put themselves up for sale. We believe that the company, which trades for $19 a share today, can sell itself for anywhere from 22 to maybe $27 a share. Who would buy it? Well, it's probably a private equity firm that, that's going to look to capitalize on Regis's strong cash flow um, and the red-hot debt markets to put some leverage on the company. It hasn't been a good executor. I mean, it's missed the past three quarters in terms of revenue estimates. I mean, do you think a private equity firm can come, come in and reap some uh, gains from that? Well, the knock on Regis for many years has been that it's mismanaged. The company has done a variety of acquisitions that they have not integrated very well. And over the years, um, they've just been accused of, of a lot of mismanagement. So, yeah, I think a private equity can add a lot of value here. David, how about the price action of the actual stock? It might be a little bit tough for some to stomach. Back in May, I think it was up to 20 bucks. then in July down to 13 and now back up to 19 again. Why is all that volatility in the actual stock price itself going on? Well, the company has continued to have lackluster same-store sales. Um, the run back up from 13 to 19 is a result of announcing strategic alternatives. Um, the reality here is the cash flow remains pretty strong um, despite negative same-store sales. The company has cut a lot of costs and have managed to maintain EBITDA throughout this uh, difficult period in their comps. All right, Dave, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for bringing the pitch along. Again, uh, Regis, Pete. RGS. Why, poor Pete, he's got hair. Alberto, he's got hair. Alberto Culver yesterday. You know, this isn't funny. Well, Regis today. I mean, the poor guy. Is look at him. If you he's prick me, got, do I not bleed? I mean, let's get serious. He's got plenty of hair. You just can't see it because it's all braided nicely in the back. <laughs> it is braided. It is, it's, very, it's longer than mine, in fact. It's longer than mine. All right, so that was David Sackler. Our thanks to him. By the way, you can get more stock picks on sumzero.com. Sumzero.com. Regis, by the way, is the owner of Supercuts and Sasson Salon. Now what